Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this little video we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Stylized Hand Painted Dungeon. It does uh, describe itself as free, as a little tag in the um, title, so hopefully it'll stay free for quite a while. Let's take a look at the asset. So overall, I do like anything which is uh, hand painted and stylized. I think it's a really good aesthetic to aim for in games. And quality wise, it doesn't disappoint. I think it's really nice quality. And the demo scene that we're in here just gives a nice indication of the kind of dungeon you could create. So taking all these pieces and putting them together, I think would work quite well. And as I always say with demo scenes, they always give a good indication of what things could look like. And like I say, it doesn't disappoint. I think it's really, really nice. And when it comes down to it, a bit of post-processing can also change how it looks completely. So rather than the, you know, the browns of a dungeon, you could create some kind of, well, in this case, a pinky, purpley, bluey kind of dungeon. And that's kind of cool. So it's always worth trying to modify anything you get from the asset store, see what you can come up with. And quantity wise, I think we get the dungeon, we get everything it describes itself as. So I think quantity wise, there's a fair amount here. We've got the prefabs that we'll need to create everything here. I mean, realistically, we've got what, seven there. I think that's enough to create a cool looking dungeon. So quantity wise, yeah, I'd say it's pretty decent. Uh, extras, not really anything in the way of extras, to be honest, but I think you wouldn't really expect anything to be massively extra in this sense but i think we get enough to create a nice little dungeon here so how versatile is it i think it's fairly versatile in the sense that even just with a bit of post processing we can change how it looks completely and i like how that looks so i'd say it's quite versatile in that sense you could even go as far as to create maybe a normal map of this uh, and apply it to the material itself just to see what kind of effect you would end up with because like I say when it comes down to some of these uh, assets I really think you should take the time and build them and see what you can come up with and just applying a normal map there that's made that look different again it looks creepier it looks more grotty worn down kind of thing and that's what I like with some of these assets. They are easy to just change things around so quickly and easily. I mean, all I've really done at this point is add a normal map to the materials. And then we can see how cool it is. So just keep that in mind. That's how versatile some of these assets can be. And they are easy to use as well, these assets. Absolutely easy to use. You can't really go wrong with some of them. And that's kind of cool. So we've created a completely different looking scene just by adding a bit of post-processing and changing the materials. So yeah, very versatile. Price is free, as it does say right there. And the size is just 14 meg. And I think that's really good. I think that's a good size. So if you're aiming for a mobile device, I think 14 megabytes is a really, really good size. It could be bigger, it could be smaller, but I wouldn't worry too much. 14 meg is a great size for what we get here. So how useful is this? I think if you're creating a game, a dungeon crawl game, then you could probably use this asset to create multiple different styles of dungeon. As you've seen here, we've created from the original this, and I think it works quite well. Always play around with different things in the assets and see what you can come up with. Change brightness on things and to play around. I mean, if we go to game object, uh, let's go to light and add a directional light. You can see again, it changes its aesthetic again. So we've changed this almost completely from how it looked originally. So useful for so many different types of dungeons, I would say. Uh, folders all neatly laid out, it's always good to see. And the fact that all the prefabs are separate like this, meaning you can drag and drop and build your own dungeon quickly and easily, it really adds to it. It, it honestly does. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I think you know what I'm going to say here. Of course, I'm going to recommend this. It's a small, simple asset, but its potential is huge. There is so much you can do with this asset. I really like its quality, its design. I really like it. And to be honest, I think this is one I could probably see me using in one of my personal projects because it's, it's easy to use. It's great. It looks fantastic. So yeah, 
if you're aiming for something dungeony, I think this is going to fit the bill very, very nicely. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Have you modified it? Have you changed it? How far have you gone with it? I'd love to know. And if you do have this in your game, let me know what it's for, what it looks like now, because I always love to see these kind of things. If you've got an asset as well on the asset store, let me know, because I'd love to review it. And finally, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel because there's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. So guys, thanks very much for watching and I will see you around in the next video.